Whoa! Okay, this is very fast and aggressive. Somebody's coming in at me, trying to stab me. I just happen to hear the sounds of footsteps. He's running at me at a really quick pace, and I'm using my head on a swivel to make sure that, whoa, what's going on in my surroundings? We're gonna tell you why awareness is important. So I'm grabbing my groceries, I'm putting them in the car, and out of my peripheral vision, I see a guy coming in stabbing. First thing I wanna do is I see the knife is coming low, I wanna create a bridge. I'm using my forearm to deflect, I'm trying to hit the radial nerve, which is about right here on the forearm, on the radial side, hitting here, and I'm creating a strike here into the, to stop his forward momentum. This comes through me, and I don't get this block, I'm gonna start leaking and it's gonna be bad. So I wanna go here, I wanna strike here. What I want to do is be able to control the weapon because this is a sewing machine style attack where he's just coming in and he's just stabbing multiple times. So that's why I want to create this. So even if he's stabbing multiple times, I'm blocking and jamming that strike as I'm coming up into here to get that hold. I'm going to grab the back of the tendon tricep because I want to get a better hold on him, so I'm going to do a hammer lock. I'm going to pull the arm in as I swivel my hand up. I'm going to rotate and press his body into the car. So what I want to do is I want to put forward momentum, so there's a lot of strength, a lot of power right on that shoulder. I'm going to strip the weapon away. I can do a gratuitous knife flip, control his body if I really wanted to. I can end this uh, scenario, or I could just, you know, pull the weapon away and disengage. There's many things that you can do from that position, but I want to be able to control him. I'm using the car as blunt force trauma, slamming it into there. I can even rotate so that when this hammer lock comes up, if I really wanted to, I could just take this and just torque it like that with my elbow, and that's going to break his arm right at the shoulder. And I can take the weapon away and disengage. So this is um, a good video for just kind of showing the point for awareness. Um, a lot of times people get out of work and then they're going to their car, they're going grocery shopping, they're, a lot of times they're just focusing on what they're doing but they're not using their other instincts like hearing and peripheral vision and things of that nature to kind of know that things are happening. There's no harm in or foul or anything if you know, you're putting groceries in your car and you hear some stomping, somebody's running. It doesn't take but a second just to take a quick peek, okay, is it fine? Because if, if nobody's running at you, that's totally cool. But if they are, it would be better to be aware of that and actually move. So awareness is a big, a big thing that you really want to think about and you know, try to keep your head on a swivel. If something's moving around, use your senses, right? Um, be aware of your surroundings. I'm Sensei LeBlanc. This is Bob Melton. This is Adaptive Combat Training.